Hi, this is the Spa Girl, and I want to say Happy New Year 2017. It's going to be an awesome year, and I want all of you out there to have a fabulous new year. And I wanted to show you today, I have no stitches in. I just have a little tiny stirry strip, and I take it off and show you the actual incision there, but you can barely see it now. Um, I went to Dr. Joseph, and he had his assistant, Anita, take the six or seven stitches out and it hurt a little and she got me a stress ball to squeeze again. And Dr. Joseph, before he left, said that the basal cell was the size of this eraser. It's very small, that little. And he said that he would let me know when the results came in and they found out um, if they had gotten it all because you always have to send it off to be sampled to make sure you get all the basal cell out. And I think he did an expert job because he's one of the best plastic surgeons in the world. As far as I'm concerned, he's amazing. And Anita, his assistant, is great. So that's most surgery. If any of you has any questions because you're facing the um, situation where you, you have cancer somewhere in you and you find out you have a basal cell and you have to have it removed, don't be afraid. And if you want to, have, you know, to get any information from me, Write me your questions, and I'll be sure to answer them on my YouTube channel. But I just want to say, I freaked out for nothing. It was not that bad. And you don't have to freak out or be scared or afraid. You'll see that um, the worst part is when they numb your face, and the numbing goes away. And you just have to keep your face clean around your nose, and you really shouldn't put anything on the stitches. And Anita told me, she said, just follow their directions. I kind of goofed and I was putting polysporin on it. I probably shouldn't have, but it didn't hurt mine any. And it's not going to leave a scar at all. Mine's just curved right underneath that sturdy strip around my nose. So I'm so happy. And I'll show you the final, final results close up once I get that little piece of um, sturdy strip off. But So don't be scared, everybody out there. Everyone who has to have any kind of basal cell removed, it will be okay. Um, these are some of my favorite products. I just couldn't resist sharing with you. Pure vitamin C from GNC, I use this every day on my face, and I mix it with hyaluronic acid and collagen, and you can start this when you're really young. It's just like a thick cream of vitamin C, pure vitamin C, is what's awesome for your skin, besides taking chewable supplements. Then you can get this collagen, and it's made by my favorite skincare company, Revival Labs. And it's collagen night cream, and you can mix it with the vitamin C and put it on your face. And then the vitamin C, so you've got the vitamin C, your collagen, and the last thing you need to really help your face not wrinkle is hyaluronic acid. You can get this hyaluronic acid serum at the vitamin shop, but you can also get hyaluronic acids at GNC. I went there today and I saw some. Also, I love Estee Lauder's, Estee Lauder's Night Repair. It's called Advanced Night Repair, and it comes in this little bottle. It is so good for your face, and it feels amazing when it goes on. It's like all the products Revival Lab makes that are serums are thick and rich, and they make them from the best plant products anywhere. Um, also, I use aloe vera. I like to apply it here on my neck and chest and on my arms, and then I also apply it to my face because I find the aloe vera is awesome. And then, even from a young age, I wish I had known about this when I was little because it makes your hair really thick and nice, and it makes it nice and rich. It doesn't get oily or dried out. And it's biotin for your hair, skin, and nails. And this has 5,000 milligrams of biotin in it. This one's made by um, Nature's Bounty, but you can get all kinds of biotin everywhere for usually under $10. I think. This particular one, because it's infused with argan oil, was like 15 at Publix. So those are some of the things I recommend that you use to look and feel younger. Always apply it around your eyes at night when you take off your makeup. Um, and please don't pull on your eyes. Because I wear contacts for so many years, I pulled on my eyes. So now I'll probably have to get a little bit of a lift on the lids. And I'm going to have to do something right here eventually just to tighten it up a little. But right now I'm trying to do a skincare regimen by using hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and collagen, mixing them together, and then throwing a little aloe in the mix too, and a little Estee Lauder night repair 
serum because the serum is thick and it's awesome. And this is a spa girl. I just hope that you all have a fabulous 2017 like I plan on having. And I hope this year is, I hope you're glad 2016 is over like I am. I'm excited about 2017 and all the great things it's going to bring to America. It's going to be a fabulous year for our country. And I am psyched. So this is a spa girl. I will see you soon. And this was the last day of Mo surgery. And I'll be blogging in, um, at my helpmissspagirl.tumblr site where you can see the pictures of the plastic surgeon I went to to have the most surgery, his office and his address. Um, Dr. Brian Joseph works with Anita, who's fabulous. So this is a spa girl. Don't forget to go to my helpmissspagirl.tumblr site too. Bye.